What's good everybody? On this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the wall-mounted electric 50-inch touchstone ivory fireplace inside your wall, even though it's not meant for that purpose. Stay tuned. I fed the custom-built ducting system from the fireplace down to here, all right? On this video, we're going to do something very interesting. We're gonna take a wall-mounted electrical fireplace with a built-in heater and we're gonna make it a recessed uh, installation. So we have a big 50.4 inch touchstone ivory fireplace uh, with a remote. The control panel is on the side right here and there's the two air inlets in the front, but the motor is on top. Now most uh, recessed fireplaces have the motor up front. So what we need to do is we're gonna need to create a custom venting system um, from this to come out uh, maybe on the bottom or pass here and out over here. I mean, that's really up to you where you want to root the actual vent. Now you can find this entire video in the description of how I created this entire frame. However, in this video, I'm gonna show you the elements that you need to create your venting system. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn the fan on and you wanna undo any screws that may be on the sides covering it. Next, you're gonna grab yourself a, probably a four inch duct connector. So this is what you put in your metal vent into. Um, this is what we're gonna do to attach over top and to capture the heat. What I did is I cut with my grinder here out so I can have a better fitment. Now you don't necessarily have to do that. You're gonna have to use a lot more tape, but in my case, I cut all the slits and I rounded it off. So it fits nicely sort of over top. This is also gonna slide underneath there. There we go. And then this goes here. This overlaps over the top and same with this. Now we're gonna tape these edges, this edge and this edge, being careful not to cover all this venting. In addition, here at least there was one extra screw here. So we've undone that and I cut a hole right there. So now when we place this, we'll be able to screw this in, making a tighter seal. Right. Now we're gonna put tape all around. This is very flexible tape. tape they can withstand very high and low temperatures. Feel free to apply a few layers. Make sure the heat is on the whole time so you can see if there's any air leaks out on the side or not. So once this is all taped off, you wanna, you don't need to, but you can just put a little bit on the inside as well. All right, so we have added the tape on the inside. We have taped all the way around. The screw is nice and sealed. There's absolutely no air leaks whatsoever. We've even applied a little tape over here. And now we're ready to reroute this. We're going to grab our uh, aluminum pipe. Now this one has better heat induction i think that's the right word than this one this is old school sheet metal i tried using that but this actually gets hotter than this one so we're gonna use this one but we're gonna grab a clamp place this this is a four inch we're gonna place this over top like that and then now we're gonna go and clamp this we're gonna add a piece of tape and then we're gonna find where we're gonna root that now, just in case we did get this, this is a coupler. So we may need to connect this to that because this does stretch out to eight feet, but one, two, three, four, we already pretty much at six. So just to have enough clearance, we got a second one. All right, so this has been on for maybe four minutes. And as you can see, I can touch it, but it's definitely warm. Now, if I touch this, this is just as warm. This one's a 
little bit of squished here but this does pull out as you can see you want to be very careful when you stretch this out because this could tear very easily but it does pull out to about eight feet so we are rooting the pipe all the way down through here we're gonna cut a hole down there and then we're gonna come out here and we're gonna build the vent into this baseboard this is where the outlet is gonna be another solution is you could just get a sidewall grill now this would go great again if you do this but if you do this it won't be concentrated whereas this one goes right in that will work if we do something like this out here on the side of the wall which we probably are leaning towards now we would put this somewhere about here and then we would simply place this sort of like on the side here where the heat would be coming out so this is just these are just two solutions that i found i'm sure if i did a little more research on amazon i could find a different solution All right, so because we will be putting a new floor up here, I wanted to get a, a visual of how high up I need to cut into the floor. And I feel that maybe I can get away with not even cutting into the floor. Instead, I'm gonna cut this vent, but only the bottom piece here. So we're gonna trim this vent. And then if I cut that off, I should have just enough clearance right here to be flush. All right, so at this point we have turned on the... All right, so we have cut out everything we need to cut out and we are now taping around our connector here. So we're just gonna make sure we're not losing any heat all the way, but it's, uh, it is working. So remember, the less the distance between the original placement of the exhaust, the less heat you're gonna lose. So it's recommended to do about four feet. Now we did about six and a half, seven feet. Uh, so we're still getting plenty, plenty of heat. I would say we lost maybe 10 to 15% of the actual fan because the rest is actually lost right here on the pipe itself at least i'm assuming i'm not an electrician or an hvac specialist but let me know in the comments below all right so at this point we have completed our venting ducting setup make sure there's no leaks no draft just double check the pipe to make sure it's all fitting now you want to get a bracket and attach this to the wall as well so it doesn't really move and then uh, we continue with the fireplace Now, in order to frame the actual TV part, you want to first construct a frame around your TV. But that is one way that you can retrofit a non-recessed wall-mounted fireplace into a built-in custom unit. At this point, we have set up our secondary vent system here. I'm gonna show you what I did. Now, on the first side, as you guys remember, we did the, the doors with the magnetic latch. Now on this one, I couldn't do that because I fed the custom built ducting system from the fireplace down to here, all right? So what I needed to do is I needed to make this one door to be static. It's never gonna open. I also cut a hole in the bottom of the door, as you can see here, and then I retrofitted this vent by cutting the bottom of the vent and I placed it inside. So this way the, uh, the look still looks good uh it matches the other side in terms of the door but the door is not actually gonna work tune in again until then thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've learned something and i will see you in the next one